A toy is in the shape of a circular cylinder with a hemisphere on one end and a cone on the other. So let's check that up. So here we have the cylinder. And they said at the ends of the cylinder there is a hemisphere and on the other end there is a cone. So this is your hemisphere which is on one end. And on the other end, they said there is a cone. So this is the cone. So here we have three figures. We have the cylinder here. So this is the cylinder. Then we have the cone here. And here at the base, we have the hemisphere. The height and radius of the cylindrical part are 13 and 5. So the height of this, of the cylindrical part, this height is given as 13, which is written here. This is 13, the height of the cylindrical. So we just put here height of cylinder 13. And uh, radius, they said, is 5. So this radius is 5. So the radius in this case is 5. The radii of the hemispherical and the conical parts are the same. So this radius is the same. They said 5. And for the hemisphere, the radius is also the same. That is 5. That's what they are saying here. Same. They are same. Of the hemisphere and of the cone. Calculate the surface area of the toy if the height of the conical part is 12. So they've given us something about the conical part. And this is the conical part. This height is 12. So let's write up that. That height, we put another edge. And this edge is 12. We need to find the surface area. So we've got to add three surfaces. One is of the cone, which you know the surface is pi r l. Then of the cylinder, that is 2 pi r h and then last to the hemisphere which is 2 pi r square. So all these three surfaces, the this one which is a cylinder, then we have the one of the cone and the one of the hemisphere we've got to add up. And I repeat again of the cone we know is pi r l. Cylinder 2 pi r h and of uh, hemisphere 2 pi r square. All these three we need to add up. So let's start. Let us now start with the cone. The radius of the cone was given 5 centimeter. The height was given as 12 centimeter. And you know if we want to find the surface area of the cone, the CSA of the cone, the CSA of cone, you know, is pi r l. So we need to know our l. Let's denote where is the l. This is the l. This is our l, which we don't know. We know this is 5, which is given. Now this is 12, not 5. So this is 12, this is 5, and we use Pythagoras here. r square plus h square equal to l square. 5 square plus 12 square equal to L square and you'll get your L as uh, 13. I'm not going ahead with it. So let's put our values of CSA of cone. So pi I leave as pi. I know my R is 5 so I put 5 and uh, L is 13. So into 13. So that is equal to. So this is 65 pi. So we've done with the cone. Now let's go on with the cylinder. Now the CSA of the cylinder we know is 2 pi r h. So 2 pi we leave here. We know the r of the cylinder which was always given to us as 5. And the h of the cylinder was given to us as 13. So, we, so now we are finding the surface. So let's go ahead. r is 5, your h is 13. And when you multiply this 2 into 5 is 10. 10 into 13 is 130. So 130 pi. That is of the CSA of cylinder. Now last we are left 
with that of the hemisphere, which is the easiest of the lot, this hemisphere. Now, CSA of hemisphere, the formula 2 pi r square, 2 pi, your r here is 5, is the same, all three have got the same radius, so 5 square. So, 2 pi into 25, and that is 50 pi, that is of the hemisphere. So, we did of the hemisphere. Now, you know we need to add up all three. We need to add the cylinder plus the cone, uh, hemisphere, and plus all these three, we need to add them up. So, let's start. We had the blue one, which is 65 pi. We calculated that. Then we had the yellow of the cylinder. We calculated as 130 pi. And the green one of the hemisphere, we did as 50 pi. And when we add up all this, we get 245 pi. Now I'm going to substitute for pi in the end. It makes the calculation much faster. And you work this out, you get your answer as 770 centimeter square. So you have three figures here, three formulas you need to, to know. The CSA of cone, cylinder and hemisphere. To recollect, you know, the CSA of the cone was pi r l. Then of the cylinder, this part, 2 pi r h. And of the hemisphere was 2 pi r square. And you added up all.